Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen where in this video we're going to dehydrate muffins. That's what I said, we're going to dehydrate muffins. You're probably thinking, what is she talking about? Well, I have dehydrated pound cake uh, before I did a video of that and I'm going to tell you why. But these are a set of muffins that I got like at the bread store where you get discount stuff and I went in there and I saw these muffins and thought, oh, I know what I'm doing with those, I'm going to take them home and dehydrate them. And why would I do that? Because they're amazing. Basically, you're going to make like a blueberry or a chocolate or a poppy seed crouton. And those croutons are phenomenal on ice cream or sprinkled on top of, like, say you have fruit with a little cool up on top to do like the cro chocolate croutons. They're just amazing. But I've got some trays here, and I did put the little liner on it that keeps the things from falling through the bigger grid. So if you have one of those, you'll need that. But let's just take out one of these poppy seed muffins. And I'm going to show you what we do here. Super simple. Be careful not to do them so small. You'll want to make sure that you do them, um, you know, in a good size. And I will tell you, I've actually brought uh, sourdough rolls home from a buffet. Nobody wanted them. They're like, oh, just throw them out. No one wants them. Well, I brought them home and I dehydrated them. And then I ground them up in a blender into um, breadcrumbs. Like, why not? So that's fabulous. So I'm going to cut these probably each into like four and then I'm going to do it again into about four these little croutons are going to be terrific and now this is the size these little things are fine I'm going to take those little corner pieces because those will be great spears to put along maybe in pudding but now I've got these these slices like this and I'm going to cut each of those in half because I want these to be about a one inch, like, like a bread crumb, like a cube, a, a nice cube of, of muffin. So we're just going to cut that in half. And then we're going to have these good sized muffin cubes. That one might be a little big. I'm just going to cut the top off that so that they're more square. Cut that one. You know, my thing is everything, just do it so that it looks right, really. Unless you're canning. You know if you're canning, you got to follow the rules. But for stuff like this, just have fun. And now I have my dehydrator set at about 120. Ooh, those are too big. Um, about 120 because you know it's not going to take long for these muffins to dry out. So I've got it about 120 and I'll probably have these go for maybe three hours. Three or four hours and they'll be fine. But these are going to be fun. And I'll tell you what, you can mix them... I've actually just taken them in a, a Ziploc bag. It takes a lot longer to eat your muffin this way. So, apparently I'm going to get one muffin per tray. So there's my poppy seed muffins. Look at that. Look how good that's going to be. Yummy. So, there's my poppy seed muffins. And how about if I do a chocolate one for you? I'll do, so six trays. I'll have two chocolates and, oops berry and a poppy seed. Okay, let me put this in the dehydrator. These are so much fun. I love them. And if you're doing that, if you have a dehydrator that has drawers, you want to make sure that you don't do them so tall that they hit the drawer above them. But the beautiful thing is if you're dehydrating something that's taller like that, you just take the drawer above it out. Okay. And we're going to do it in half. And then that one in half that one in half turn it half half so we got it in quarters and now we're going to cut those halves in half and there's our basically i've done this with chocolate cake i've done this with spice uh, cake and it turned out so good and they were great just um with a cup of tea little spice cake cubes uh, some of these might take a little longer because maybe I didn't get them all perfectly cut in squares. But, you know, I always say it's not the end of the world. There's so much bigger things. Okay. These are going to be great. I have a surprise to use these with. I'm hoping they all turn out just right because I have a surprise to do with these that I think you're going to love. Okay. There's my chocolate ones. Look at those little chocolates with the little chocolate bits in there. That's going to be terrific. We put this one in here, and now we'll do a poppy seed. And then, 
I'll do the other three, fill the other drawers, and then I will bring back, I'll tell you exactly how long they took, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. These are super quick and easy, and they will make something that people will say, are you kidding? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have to tell you, once you get into dehydrating and you start doing things like this, people just think you're the coolest person around because you make the coolest things. Like, look how quick that one was once you get it down. Just cut all those little squares. These guys, I'm going to cut this one in half. The rest of them I'm just going to put on there. Okay, so I am going to now finish the other three muffins, and I'm going to put them on the trays, and then I will come back to you and show you what they look like when they're all dehydrated. And there is the poppy seed muffins. Yummy. So I'm going to come back to you when these are all dehydrated and I'll show you the finished product. All right, we're done and these are so good. So I'm going to show you. These are the little uh, blueberry ones and you can see they're hard. They're just like a, like a little breadcrumb. I'm going to tap it on something. See that? They're hard. Here is the chocolate, and you can see the little chocolate chip in there still. So delicious. And the poppy seed, actually really yummy. Now these little bits, I'm just going to put those around and snack on those. But what I want to do is separate out these cubes, because those are the ones that I'm going to save to do different things with. And there's lots you can do with these. These are just delicious. Say you have a sliced up banana and you have some Cool Whip with it, and you just sprinkle this on top. So good, put the croutons on there, they'll soften up a bit, but they're yummy, they're just, they're just fantastic. So, I've got a couple of plans for these, but for right now, I just wanna show you how to make these little muffin cubes. And remember, I've done before where I've just made a spice cake with no frosting or anything. You don't want frosting and stuff on this, just the actual cake. I did spice cake, and it was phenomenal. I've done pound cake, super good, chocolate cake, muffins, just whatever, and it's basically just going to make these awesome muffin croutons. So I hope you give this a shot. If you try it and you do something fun with it, be sure and let me know. I'd love to know what, uh, what you might come up with in ways to use this. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.